Good Central Kansas morning to you. 6 a.m. in the morning. We're out here checking on Bessie and company. They're doing well. They, uh, they've they been producing plenty of milk, uh, which has been nice. It's been a nice addition to our, our fund. I did not harvest anything off screen. Uh, the only thing that I have done is, of course, move time forward. So we have all my fields are fully grown. And the uh, forward is working away in the silage again is excellent because as you can see down at the bottom of my screen I have over a half million dollars which means we can pick up our second uh, combine that we've been we've been saving our cash for so let's go ahead and start by doing that I'm gonna go here and you guys want me to get the Alexion 770 Terra track for three hundred and seventy thousand so dollars we're gonna go ahead and buy that guy and I'm going to go ahead and get the Klaus Vario 1200 for it. So we'll go ahead and buy that. So we got $51,000 left, which is fine because we, we got that guy working over there. So let's, let's go get our new toy. Yeah. Because we're right and proper farmers. I'll wait for you guys to finish laughing. <laughs> because we're right and proper farmers, we're immediately going to take this bad boy to work. Since we got three fields. <clears throat> yes, you heard me right. I have three fields ready to harvest. So let's head out. <laughs> let's take our corn head and our grain head and head out. <laughs> so I put wheat or barley or whatever the heck I put on that field. I put canola on that field as per normal because, well, there's really no other reason. And then on this little itty bitty field, I kept driving by it and going, you know, maybe I should just put something on that field just so that we have something. So as you can see, I planted a little bit of corn because, well, why not, right? Yes, exactly. Why not? Sheep and company are all doing okay. They're, they've almost finished a pallet of wool for us. Uh, Henrietta and company over in the chicken coop, they're doing fine as well. A few eggs in there, we probably need to go collect them. So yeah, we got our Class 770 Terra Track. Y'all been screaming for this thing and now we've got it. Stop. <laughs> there. Now we're gonna switch to work mode. Yeah. Now, those of you that didn't see the mod spotlight on this, well, shame on you, but there's so many goodies. We can turn on our cameras. So we can make sure, oh, look, we're not quite, oop, that's a course play. We're not quite lined up over there. So let's go ahead and line up. There we go. Of course, got to be careful because this has the wither on it, so it will wither the crops. Nope, I keep I keep right clicking and that does not do what I want it to do. Alright. So full pipe. Activate chopper. Alright, we're good. No. There. <laughs> Alright, let's hire our worker. Yeah. Away he goes. We'll let him work at a slow, slowish speed. Where is our cat? There's the cat. Start up the big cat. The big gas hungry cat. We're going to send him over to the other field. So this will make harvest day so much easier. And here we are in episode 18. We've got just two more episodes to go, just 19 and 20 to go. And then this season will be over. So we've we've gotten our windmill. We've got basically as much of an all mod farm as we can. 
There are a few things that are not modded, but as much as we can, we have a mod farm. And we have no debt. Sweet. We've done everything that we intended to do. And we even picked up a 770 Terra Track to go along with our Cat Lexion. How cool is that? Now, I do know I actually have the money to go get the Caterpillar front end loader to handle silage, but the Ford is doing fine for now, so we're just going to let him be. Back you up, line you up. Alright, there. Get him into work mode. And... Dun, dun, dun. Alright, so we're going to hire. And... We're also going to drop his speed. Instead of that insane speed, we're going to put him on 50% speed. Because... Yeah, because... Look at our Class 770 Terra Track. Just eating up that canola. Already approaching 50%, so we probably need to go get the other Ford. And find where I put the trailer, because... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Duh. It's always the last place you put it. True. Alright. So we're going to we'll bunker all of this stuff, because there's really no reason not to right now. Well, that was kind of foolish. Try that again. There we go. Alright. Now, I could put this guy onto the, um... the course play. But I got one trailer and two fields. Now, I could go pick up another trailer, of course. But they're not exactly cheap. And the problem with the case, of course, is that it withers crops, which is good in that it's realistic-ish. But bad because it means I can't use it for course play. Because the driver will just drive on the crops. He doesn't know any better. So... I've really only got the one, I've really only got the Ford here to pull the trailers. And that's going to be, that's going to make this an interesting exercise, I think. Because that cat is almost full. Ah. Uh, both of them are almost full. I do have the other trailer. I can always use the case just to, to do the parking thing. Hmm. I might just have to do that. Because I'm not, I'm not going to be able to run between these two. That is silliness. I wonder if I saved the field run course. Hello. Thank you there, new combine. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I know, I'm driving on crops. I don't care too much, really. The other one's full of wheat. Yeah, did I save? Yes, I did. So let's load this. Go here. Manual. That guy. Right. So now, let's get him out of the way. Drive course. You're, you're, you idiot, you're about to rear end him. <laughs> Stop the driver. Who are you? At nearest waypoint. Alright. So drive the course, buddy. 
don't rear-end the combine. Jeez. Drive. All right, hopefully he will actually do what he's supposed to. Maybe. All right, let's get this guy. And what we're going to do is we'll go get the, um, <laughs> the trailer we use for silage. And we will, um, we'll just run wheat with that. Keep an eye on that Ford. He must be coming to run his course before he actually runs his course. Oh, uh, why do you have to be positioned like that? Why, why, why? Maybe I can sneak the trailer in. Hmm, he's a little bit far in. I can try. <laughs> the Ford is nowhere near done. That one, turn him around, put it right here, there we go, dirty, dirty tractor. Okay, now we got this big guy, now let's go and try to get some grain. Um, yeah, we're not going to, I don't want to drive on the crop, so I'm going to park as close as I dare. Where did the driver? There we go. Perfect. Not perfect, but good. Right, you are there. Are you? Um, what are you doing? Uh, you should be. You should be driving. Okay, I don't know what the heck that was about, but... Alright, well... You're working now, that's what matters. Alright, let's put you back. It's almost perfect. And there. And back up. And higher. Jump out, let him go on his business. Let's get this guy. Make that turn. Yes, barely make that turn. Alright. Cool. So this is going to work out. I think this will work. Just got to be careful with the case. He has to hit every time. Can't afford not to. Go. Cool. Alright, so he's working hard. He is hardly working, <laughs> which is fine. Um let's let's check our straw level. Where'd it go? If you walk back enough and look, where is the straw? Come on, I know you're up there. Hmm, my straw must be low. <laughs> uh, yeah, the straw floats in the air. It doesn't actually. 
doesn't actually go down. Okay, um, and we're kind of low-ish, I think. Oh, that's sheep. Feed trough, yeah, the feed trough is kind of low. Y'all eat a lot. <laughs> All right, well, when the fort is done, Of course, it's not going to hit, is it? No. Stop, 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 you idiot! Stop! Ugh. There. Works. <sighs> Look at that. We've already, we're already up to 70,000? Almost 70,000 already. It's awesome. Don't back into the trailer. You idiot. <sighs> I swear, you can't get good help. I'm going to fire you and replace you with, with one of the inmates in the course play group. There's more inmates clamoring for work. Oh, good. All right. Snuggle it up a little bit better, maybe. That. Maybe. We'll see. All right. You are off after the combine. You might get there in time. All right. So. Yeah, this is where I wish I could just, you know, walk up here, grab a bale, throw it in the back. I mean, these are light. Little bales, just throw them in there. Cause totally, that's that's what I would do right now. Huh. All right. Well. Cool. So that's where we are right now. We. Um, you know what? Since we have seventy-one thousand, should we just go ahead and buy the cat articulated loader? Make life so much easier. Then I can use the Ford tractor to deal with the cows right now. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go get you. Go ahead and empty. Go. Uh, course play. Stop driver. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see the silage four. So I can reset the course on that because I can load silage four. So silage the silage path for the fourth bunker. That's that's what I got there. That way I can I can cycle through my different bunkers and I got silage one, two, three, and four. Clever, don't you think? I think it's clever. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna run over here. Oh, you better not fill up. You're gonna fill up before you get there, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Of course you are. Okay. All right, we're gonna stop him there. Oh, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? 98, 99. Oh, so close. Look at how close we were. Good grief. All right. Well, you do that. You're doing that. You're doing nothing. You're there. You're there. Ah, there we go. All right, I got the articulated one because it just looks right for me. Begins. Okie dokie. Now we're gonna we're gonna make. I think I'm gonna try to fill up the um, our feeding thing. 
for the cows. And it'll kind of determine how much... Uh, um, okay, those beacons are annoying now. Uh, how much more grass we have to cut. Because I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're going to have to cut some more grass. And I got a solution for that too. Because darn it, I've got a solution for everything. <laughs> or I try to anyway. Why can't I see the straw? The hover straw. It's like the one of the... Well, there's a couple of things on this map that kind of aren't cool, but... Alright, so... Stop. Go to my courses. We're going to look for silage 4. Now, silage, does it remember? It doesn't. Alright, so we have silage 4 loaded. That is a silage. Let's go to this. One thing about course play is it doesn't remember the bucket positioning, which is kind of odd. Alright, so that's transport and pre-unload. That's unload position. Yep. Yep. Doot. Boop. Doot. There we go. That's load position and then turn on stop and go. And drive. Where are you going? Where is he going? <laughs> uh, what you doing, Caterpillar? What, what, what are you doing? Stop it. Okay, let's... There. Drive. No. Why are you suddenly acting silly? Drive. There. Okay, he was having trouble finding that first point. There we go. Look at him stopping and going, so make sure he gets a full bucket. There, let's just make sure he doesn't do anything else silly. Since this course was made for the Ford first, so... Make sure that we don't have any crashes or anything like that. Ooh, Ooh he just barely makes it. <laughs> All right. And okay, so he should be good now. All right, let's go get the case wrappers. He's gonna. Did he hit 100% just... No, he didn't. Ah! No, 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 no. Do not, do not make that turn. Do not make that turn. Okay, there we go. Woo! That was close. Ah. All right. Look at us go. We got ourselves a... A big cat front loader working the silage. We've got the Lexion on the canola. <laughs> like, what is that stuff again? <laughs> We've got the class in the canola. We have the cat on the wheat. We got the cat on the silage. We got the four that's about to start working on the uh, cows again. Just gonna be fun. And yeah, a little boucher there to, to put the straw in for the cows. It's all very exciting. We have a very busy farm today. I like it. I do wonder where that Ford is. Oh, he's chasing him down, okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Empty. Yay! 
Bye bye. What is up with the? Oh, I know what's happening. It's like, why is the why is the money going up in the weird increments? The uh, the processing thing at the silage plant is probably full. So it's the tractor, the cats over there, just slowly dipping it in, which is honestly a little bit annoying. But I can't do anything about it, so can't really get too annoyed by it. As long as he's over there and, you know, behaving himself. Okay, I'll put you right like that, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, yes. You're out of everybody's way. Yes, you are. You are slowly emptying. Okay, you're fine. All right, your turn. Um, yeah, we don't want that yet. Let's work with this first. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm not doing that in cab. Oh, someone asked, how do I know what a cutting horse is? Well, because I grew up around horses. I know what cutting horses are. Why are you so surprised by that, people? Uh, also, I used to live in Augusta, Georgia, which is home of one of the biggest cutting horse fraternities. So, there you go. Boop. Okay, two... What did we decide these things were? 600 pounder or 600 liter thingamajiggies? So I need a good number of them to equal out to one. Oop, other direction. Sloop. Kill. Okay. I'm, I'm going to honestly be kind of glad that I'm not going to... Oh, you silly tractor. Um, not, I'm not going to be spending many, many, many episodes with these cows. Because these little bales... Not so great for this. Um, I think they're, they're great if you're... If you have the patience. I don't really have the patience, I don't think. Yay! Is that... Yeah, the cat's still on the slow... The slow, uh... Burn. Alright. Let's look at that. Let's see how much we got in there. And that was mm, forty-two hundred. Okay. Let's grab some grass, some hay instead of some straw. Whoop. A bunch of it, or three pieces, whatever. Bunch of it, three pieces. You know, it's all the same. So I'm actually re recording this on earlier than I normally record. I usually record this on Thursday or Friday. I'm actually recording it on Monday because, of course, it is July 4th this week. So a nice big holiday over here in the States. And the company I work for is nice enough that because uh, the July 4th falls on a Thursday, we don't just get Thursday off, we get Thursday off, we get Friday off, and we get part of Wednesday off. So, I have a four-day weekend. It's awesome. Actually, it's like a four-and-a-half-day weekend, actually. Um, yeah, we need to get a little bit more uh, hay in there. Uh, are we there yet? No. No. Yee, that might be too much hay, but it is one modulate with a little bit of straw, right? 
Let's hope so. And open! <laughs> uh, I'm watching that cat over there. I like how he can't actually make a full pass. Alright, how are we doing? Um, I think we need a few more bales. And... Did I get a couple? I got one. Better than none, I guess. And down! Plump. <laughs> Alright, let's check how much a single bale did <clears throat> to uh, straighten out our, our mixture here. Oh yeah, one more bale will do it. First, let's get the cat sorted. As you know, he's going to uh, he's going to stall just short, as usual. Go, come on, buddy. You know you want to unload. Come on, come on. There you go. There you go. See, it's not so bad. Stop. Perfection. Okay, back to you. What are we doing again? Oh yeah, getting like one or two more bales. I think that's two bales right there in the shade of the tree. Well, that's not two bales. That's a whole line of bales. Alright, well, we'll do it this way then. Um, okay, that's three. I think we'll be okay with three. Cat is still slowly emptying the silage. Oh, that's four. Well... Ah, oh, what the heck, right? Blink. No, that was three. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's check this out. Did I get my mixture straight? Yeah. Cool. Alright, so now let's grab some silage. Okay. Not some silage. Yeah, some silage. Alright, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Someone told me to use a bucket to get the, the small bales. I, I think I'd have more trouble with that than with the, the grabber claw nom nom device. Quite honestly. Yeah, so uh, for July 4th, me and me and Doss are going to go and, and tour some places here in Colorado. Some couple, a place that we're going to head off to. I'm not telling you where, though. For reasons of, because... Because <laughs> uh, who knows, we might change our mind. That's mainly the reason. Alright, how are we doing? Alright, so I need one more load. We're, we're notorious for doing that. We're like, hey, you know, we're going to go to... And then we change our mind and we never go there. Slurp. Mmm, silage. So this, and then I'll get the boucher there, and I'll run the boucher to grab a bunch of straw. Um, this will... Uh, Feed our cows for a bit. Ouch. Well, there. There? Um, doesn't look right. Other than the fact that it's clipping, it just doesn't look right. There. 
Alright, is everybody happy now? Yeah, I see the wheat. I see it. God, grief.